my ex was really a good, uh, I told this to her face. So I'm not talking shit about her. We all know who she is. She's one of the best human manipulators I've ever met in my life. Just really good. I mean that as a nice, I mean that's positive uh, right. way of saying it. My God, if I want to do something, I, if I don't want to do something, she's, she has a good way of talking me in and do it. It's fucking amazing. Uh-huh. So then, <clears throat> part of the hypnotherapy thing, I started reading about dark manipulation, how to manipulate people. Because uh-huh. I was really curious, what is human manipulation? Right, right. And I didn't realize, like, oh, I'm guilty of it, she's guilty of it. We're all guilty of that shit. Right. It's simple shit like gaslighting. Gaslighting is simply going, like, doing some evil shit and then, and, and then denying that the shit doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, you just stole something. I don't know what you're talking about. That's mm. gaslighting. But I didn't realize that's a destructive manner. Because then, like, in a relationship, if you just keep acting like this, you did some evil shit, but you never did it, then then they, the trust starts to erode away. But then you don't trust yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sounding confusing. Let me get no, back no, to you. No, no, let me, let me, I'll bring it together. What you're saying you is you start to go, did I? Do, did yes. she do it? Did, did so you start to dr- you start to mistrust your own your own interpretation of what what goes on. Right, and then when you meet another woman who does a similar shit, you're like, it should be a trustworthy or it should be a manipulative. And then you meet motherfuckers, you go, oh, this is complete manipulation. My God, this is like <laughs> some women would do try to manipulate once a comment. I met this one chick who tried to use like seven different type of manipulations per sentence. It was actually profound. I was like, yeah. my God, this chick is a genius. And just I don't know. So like, what that's was the my example? Huh? What was the example? Give me the example of that. When you give me a second, the okay. layered. Here was one. Um, I just, <laughs> here's a whole couple relationship. Hey, like, do you have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend right now, but I'm also not really in the mood for a relationship because I'm really kind of heartbroken. Oh, I feel you. I don't know if I want a relationship either. That was the first manipulation. I didn't mimicking. say, I didn't, know, that's, I didn't even know. That's mimicking. Mimic, she mimicked, she echoed me, but then she right. manipulated just a little bit. She didn't right. say, I don't, I'm not ready for a relationship. She said, I don't know how I feel either. So right. she put logic into my own brain and now I'm going to look. Right? Then she says, oh, I'm going to come over and just have sex with you. Nothing else. All right, cool. And then she comes over and she's like, oh, you just want to have sex with me? Is that what it is? I'm just sex to you? That kind of thing. <laughs> you know? And then it just keeps building to yeah. little, like, she sets you up, takes it apart, and then suddenly you're like, I just want to be a good person. Now, Dante, so do you that. think that's intentional or is that uh, I, I, a woman? I think, I think I, very rarely it's intention, this intentional, yeah. I think because it's the way people learn how to socialize. Yeah. So I, yeah. if you if you if you come from a family that's just right up front, you know, then uh, that's how you that's how you communicate. Whereas if it's uh, like this is, is interesting because um, when I talk like black comedy is this is something <laughs> that funny that happened. Let me tell you about it. Right. Mainstream comedy, when you're talking to white folks, another thing is I'm saying something, but I ain't really saying it. I'm saying it, but I ain't saying it. I'm letting you figure it out. So it's you. I'm inferring to what I'm saying. Now, with, with, with white folks, you find that, that, that that's, that's like sarcasm and sar- like, because it, it don't really want to, you don't really want to say what you really mean because you don't want to be held accountable for what you really said. <laughs> whereas, whereas hmm. with black folks, if you, in the, if you in the hood and you saying, yo, yo, this nigga mad funny. Yo, what, what, yo, I'm funny, nigga. What you trying to say? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna confront you to have clarity about what you're saying because I, <laughs> I need to know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. And so that, so it, it has a lot to do with the social, the culture of socialization, the way we socialize and the way we, way we're raised. So if you grow up with a manipulative mother or a manipulative father, or they use guilt or something, they said that you learn to communicate in these ways. And then you have to kind of, if you want to be a good person, you got to break you. First, you have to recognize what it, that is happening. And then you got to find kind of try to break it. I mean, um, agree, agree. <laughs> um, I was gonna say something, Dre. I want to go back to when you were when you were broke up with Donifer. Remember when you broke up with Donifer, mm-hmm. and you and you were doing the five, doing the five, and you were like, but I still, you were like, I still feel. You, you and remember? I wasn't even like, <laughs> like really, really doing it consciously. I was just wait. Just, explain. Just you gotta explain that. You gotta, you gotta explain that. Andre Dre. was like, I was just banging chicks, ball deep. Yeah, balls I wasn't deep. like really like. <laughs> Fully being like, 
I'm thinking it really. I was just. I you mean you were trying to get the one. five? You mean you trying to? You wasn't trying to get the five. Yeah, it was like a like the five happened to happen if it happened. I don't even know if I even reached. Did you? Five. Were you heartbroken about it, Andre? When you yeah, he was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I was he was fucked up. At least some version of. Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. As far as not knowing if you were in love or not, A, it's a real smart observation on your part, bro. Let me just say that. Really smart. And number two, I would say, yes, you probably were in love. Because being in love is not necessarily about the person. A lot of, I love this interpretation Ram Dass said. It's like, when you're in love with somebody, it's not them. It's, sport, it's how they make you feel and how they help you connect to kind of like the source of, of all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like. So like they're just more or less helping you feel love. They're not actually the kind. Well, it's, it's interesting too because because you also you know people. A lot of guys will think, oh, I will do this, this, that, and that for her, and she'll love me. But it, that's not where the love comes. The love comes from when you get somebody to do things. They love you when you get them to do things for you because you give them purpose in the context of uh, in the context of their life. So what was interesting is like she was this chick was real needy. She was she was needy and broken, and so Andre was constantly trying to figure out how to fit in, and he was trying to be a good dude. He was trying, and so he was working hard for somebody who was really making him work hard, and that's what I was saying, Dre. And so the love, so so I understand that I understand that in in the in, the, in your. I, I don't want to say immaturity, but I guess immaturity and emotion was, oh, I don't know if I'm in love, but the point is love is what it is at the moment. I mean, you got to, you got to appraise the house. For yeah, what that's it's maturity in my understanding of it. So yeah. it, it, it's love in the context of that time frame of where you were at emotionally. And she was putting you through the ringer. And so you were working. And so your, your, your life was purposeful to try to figure out <laughs> how to not just she, she was so great but like, all right now to ask I, I gotta ask a question on that because you said my life was purposeful in that where a lot yeah. of the arguments with her and problems was i'm constantly going chasing this woman called stand up right so then right. in what it, it like that that's a reflection of purpose because so like it was if her my, if okay my purpose is causing an issue i got you purpose, how is because she was unhappy so you wanted you didn't want her to be unhappy. Yeah, but the problems really never got rectified. It, no, 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 it grew. wasn't gonna because she was selfish in the first place. As a so the point, right. So the I point was mad thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you live your dream? You live your dream? <laughs> so, <laughs> so the point was so here is the thing. Andre's Andre's a good dude and 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 so he he didn't want he didn't want to fight. He didn't want her to be upset. But he wanted to pursue his he wanted to pursue his dream as well. And so he was trying to contort in a way to, to follow his dream and still not upset her and not make her which which the which the, the there was no answer to that. That because she was already selfish and so she was putting you through the motions and she had you working. And and whether or not it was something that was pleasant because I mean it was it was ridiculous. I mean, like it's like she said, I'm mad at it. The, but the point is that's where the love comes in. The love is the purposefulness that somebody gives you in the context of your life. And so to the same token, when you're super independent and you 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 as a man, you still have to give purpose to your woman, otherwise she'll leave because she feels useless because she has no relevance in your life so when you're so independent that she feels like she's not necessary then she leaves because well I, i'm not getting anything from this you man school